cooked Moonlight Antelope is currently the highest healing food in the game. 26 life points is what it heals. It jumped from 22, which was like angler fish and like all those dark crabs, to 26. That, that is crazy. You would expect like maybe one hit point, maybe a couple of hit points, because there is a catch. It only heals 14 life points and then 12 over time. So if I eat this, I should go all the way to 15 life points, and then I guess slowly it will start going up. But oh no, I was expecting way quicker. Just Wait, that, that is so good. I thought I was going to do like one hit point per tick or something, which, I mean, that, that could have happened also. So just wait. Now, does this passive heal also stack? So if I eat one and then like immediately another one, and maybe I have a window for to eat another one, it should go up anytime. It doesn't. I think it just like stays until one heal, and I really doubt it's going to heal another one in like the next couple of seconds. It no, it just stays at 55. So if you're panic eating, you're getting hit all the time, you should just, you should never eat two Moonlight Antelopes in a row. Because you're essentially eating a, a swordfish. There's another beneficial thing about the meat, is that it cures one poison. I'm currently venomed from Zelda. If I eat this one, it, wait, it didn't decrease from venom. Oh, so it just works on, I guess it works on poison only? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It, it does work, but you have to wait for the second heal. So you eat it, doesn't cure immediately. Once the heal is gonna hit, this is gonna decrease from, yep, to nothing. Do we have the highest healing food that also cures poison? You know how many people take like Sanfu serums to like different places? It's probably still better. I believe this thing that I'm about to show you is actually very overpowered and is possibly gonna open a bunch of new metas unless it's gonna be nest or something. So if you use a needle on a fox fur, you can create a small meat pouch and then you can upgrade it with sunlight antelope fur. So just use a needle again and it will become a large meat pouch. Now you can store specifically raw hunting meats. So you could store like antelope, you could store kiat, so I'm just gonna actually take five, five maybe five of this, and I'm gonna take one swordfish and one chicken. These will not be stored, but the rest of them will be. There is no interface, however, so you can't actually check what's inside. You can click check, but it will tell you that your meat pouch currently holding 15 meat. But like what kind of meat? A new meta to do fight cave is gonna require a cooking cave because these guys are like 92 cooking. So I'm going to assume that these actually burn I mean, this should work. At, le at least that's what people said on Reddit. No way it works. So I can... Oh, and of course you can empty... You cannot empty your meat pouch. Can you empty inside Inferno? You cannot do that. Guys, it does work at Bandos. I can empty it and get the raw meat and can put it back. So essentially you can bring a pack yak to your Bandos or like any Godless bosses. Sure, you cannot put like Sada Brews and Super Assaults inside, but if you also bring a forestry basket, I think it needs to be upgraded. You can check the log basket and you can withdraw uh, the logs from it. So instead of bringing just one log, because then otherwise you would have like one opportunity, you know, to cook the whole thing, you can actually take stackable logs in a way and you can use even barbarian training to use a like a short bow or any kind of bow to light the fire. Sure, you could just bring a tinder box. It's maybe a fancier way to do this. But if you are already using range, you could look into it. I do believe it does not work with a twisted bow. So if you're doing that method where people run around, uh, it's not going to actually work. Very weirdly, well, I also have a feeling that maybe they're going to fix that so it does work with a twisted bow eventually because this could generally be a nice meta let me just empty this and just maybe do this during the fight don't mind me i'm just doing bandos in 2024 with a cooking cape yeah well i think max cape works as all capes right so you could just i guess bring max cape would be uh, a much better way to do this oh my god i'm running out of food at bandos just empty this full inventory again okay you can buy the raw meat for 2.5 thousand each when you cook it it becomes 3.1 thousand so it's like 600 500 gp profit per cooked one and I totally forgot, this is like a very important thing. You actually cannot cook the meat until you complete 50 rumors. You know those Slayer contracts, but for uh, Hunter specifically? Yes, you have to spend approximately 10 hours before you can cook this. You could cook the lower level food though, but they don't heal as much. But some require only like 10 rumors completed, 20, 30, and then this is the maximum at 50. Have a nice Friday.